<laughs> what? Well, Chad and Whitney can't get married with us either. Why not? Because Chad's fortune said that his love will destroy the one he loves. Teresa, you take this stuff way too seriously. I'm sorry, but, you know, I, I believe in these things. Now I don't know who will be the other couple getting married with us. But, and neither do I, and I don't care. Because the only person I want at my wedding is you. Look, all that matters is that we stand at the altar and promise that we'll love each other till death do us part. What is it, honey? I, uh, well, nothing as important as your confession, TC. I, I just wanted to, to tell you how much I love you. Eve? Yes, Grace. That's all I wanted to say. I just want to put all this behind us and not even talk about it anymore. You know, because we have so much to be grateful for, honey. A great marriage and our beautiful daughters. The only children that we'll ever have. Sweetheart, you are a wonderful woman. I don't deserve you. Eve, I'm so sorry. I don't know what gets into me sometimes. I'll never be suspicious of you again. I'm glad you told me about your suspicions, TC, but let's just forget it now. <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. Sweetheart, I promise I'll make it up to you. Let's go home. Oh, well, I, I've still got a few things to clear up here. Would you wait for me? Sure. I'll be outside. Feel better? Why didn't you tell TC the truth about Julian? I mean, when he finds out now, it is going to be so much worse. You heard him, Grace. He said that our marriage would be over. Oh, but you said you wanted him to know you had a son. You said you didn't want to deny your son's existence anymore. I wanted to tell him, Grace. I wanted to share my loss with him, but I couldn't do it. You heard him, honey. He said, he said that our marriage would be poisoned. But he said that if I'd had an affair with Julian, that it was the one thing that he wouldn't be able to forgive. T.C. loves you. Eventually, he would get over it. And what if he doesn't? I can't take that chance, Grace. I can't lose him. Even if it means that I have to keep and live with my secret for the rest of my life. And what happens if your son does show up at the door one day? I... Well, I am just going to have to deal with that. But I don't know. I think uh, people can find real love in different ways. Really? Like what? Well, like my couples hating each other at first, just like you and me. <laughs> well, I never really hated you. Yeah, well, you weren't exactly my number one <laughs> fan true, either. True, true. <laughs> if I remember, I, I thought you were uh, as stuck up as they come. Yes, I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> but hey. This right here just goes to show you how things change. I don't think there's anything I can keep us apart. I wonder how they knew they were meant to be married. How does anyone know? Oh, well, I think poets have been trying to figure that one out for centuries. <laughs> Two brides for two grooms. I give up. I mean, if it's not Chad and Whitney or Louise and Sheridan, well, then who can it be? Well, first, there's a Chinese restaurant, and now here. What are you following us, Julian? Uh, don't be ridiculous. I'm merely out for some fresh air. <laughs> Oh, what am I doing here? I don't seem to be able to control what I do or where I go. That's right, Julian. You're completely under my control now. And together, we are going to wreck this town. <laughs> there he is. Does he have the bottle? Julian does have 
the bottle. Oh, Timmy, this is terrible. Julian's the worst possible person to be under Hecuba's control. He has absolutely no willpower to fight her evil charms. What's going to happen, Tubby? Through Julian, Hecuba will be able to unleash evil on this town, the likes of which has never been seen. <laughs> Grace, I'll, uh, I'll walk you back to your room. <laughs> uh, you all right? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, let me get you a glass of water. How could you do this to me, Mom? You ruined my life! How could you deny your son? Your only son! You lied to me, Eve. You destroyed our family, our marriage, and our lives. The truth! You should have told me the truth! Why did you lie to me? Why didn't you admit I was your son? Look what you've done! You should have told the truth! 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 I've seen the future. And it's a disaster for all of them. So, uh, what'd you think about Teresa's prediction? Think there'll be a double wedding? No, sometimes I think my friend Teresa's a little over the top. <laughs> she seemed pretty convinced. Well, I mean, if there is going to be a double wedding, it's definitely not going to be you and me. I told Teresa she was silly to even think about it. You know, we haven't been on our first official date yet, right? Yeah, it's true, it's true. But, you know, we've been getting closer as of late, and uh, we could break some rules. Break some rules, huh? Yeah, you know, we can skip this whole dating thing and make Teresa happy and just go straight up to that altar. What'd you say? <laughs> Married? Me? I'm not ready. Am I? What about my career in tennis? I mean, could I really focus if Chad was in my life? What is my future with Luis? Will we ever be bride and groom? Will we love each other for the rest of our lives in sickness and health, for better or worse? Or am I going to lose the one man I really and truly love? You cold? Come on, let's go home. <sighs> no, I'm not cold. I, I just felt my love for you rush right through me. Sheridan and Luis are definitely in love. And look, Chad and Whitney. I was right. We're definitely gonna have a double wedding. Maybe even a triple wedding. <clears throat> oh. Finally. Since I found this thing down at the wharf, I've had this... Strangest evening. The night has just begun, Julian. I'm going to use you to destroy three happy couples. <laughs> yes. Love will die. Hearts will break. Those kids have no idea what I have in store for them. <laughs> Things are getting even stranger. Uh oh. Kikuba's putting a curse on the three couples. must have set off fireworks for the newlyweds. Ha! 
Yes, there'll be fireworks, all right. 